Jeez, okay. These outfits already. Oh. The mood of the song fits her voice so well. Hello my beautiful orbits, how are you guys doing? My name is Yomo. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got another Luna song that is produced by Ryan. I hope I pronounce this uh, name right. June? Ryan June? Hopefully I pronounce it right. But he's the guy that also uh, produced Paint the Town and a lot of other bangers and everyone, me included, was pretty hyped about when uh, we were finding out um, that he is indeed producing Luna's upcoming new title track, Paint the Town. And now I've seen, like, I've, I've been, since then I've been following him on Twitter and I've already seen, like, he did something, I think, with NCT and now he did some kind of thing with Luna. And to be exact, with Heejin, Kimlip, Jinsu and Eve. So it's like a little mini subunit uh, that is outside of what the usual subunits are. Um, and I think there's a, l a potential of a lot of girl crushing. It's like you have Heejin, you have Kim, you have Jinsu, and you have Eve. Like, they are weapons in their own ways of how they perform. And so this is gonna be good. This is gonna be really good. This. This had some trailers. I didn't check them out. I wanted to go into this really unspoiled. I have no idea how this is gonna sound like on my Discord. Links in the description, by the way, if you wanna join the beautiful orbits on there. Uh, a lot of people were actually freaking out pretty hard. And we're talking about, I think some people also said they were liking it more than PTT because it was just more their style. Um, but yeah, I'll see how I th uh, what I think of it. So guys, let's change over to the scene. Oh, we're missing we're missing some footage here, but we can fix that. Here we go. Guys, get my light stick ready, obviously, and I am probably not prepared. It's in 4K. Oh, thank you. Let's go. Starring Luna. My God, Heechin just walking on. Okay. Oh, I got that bullet though. Jeez, okay. These outfits already. Oh. Also, seeing Kim Lip, I think someone mentioned that Kim Lip is actually uh, credited in writing the song. Something like that. Just this scene with Heejin and Jinzo. My god, look at it. Look at that smile of, of Jinzo. Look at that. Look at her. Oh. We're just 60 seconds in and I'm already freaking fanboying over them. Oh, she looks so amazing. Jesus. Oh, my orbit heart can take this. Oh, Eve just... Eve, I mean, I told you they were weapons. Mm, okay. Oh my god, Jesus. Why so much she shines in this? Oh my god. These girls, dude. And that song is a banger. Oh my god, that, that was the chorus, right? Yeah. Oh my god. I love the guitar in the back, by the way. This is really cool style. I want to listen to that again. How Jinzo is opening this up with her mesmerizing voice, I can't. I love her whole part. Coming from Eve, just mowing everyone down into this part. Mm. The mood of the song fits her voice so well. And then he just coming in. She's she's a princess. Like, oh my god. Look at her in the dress with that freaking rifle in her hands. Come on. What are you trying to get rid of here? Oh, we got some POV here. Lippy. With that heel, with you can see these heels? You guys seeing these heels? You guys seeing this freaking... That outfit. That outfit. 
is dangerous. My goodness. Oh, Eve of that black rose. Oh, he didn't got this part this time. Oh my god. So casual. <laughs> oh my goodness. And now Lippy and Eve are battling it out, right? Is that Eve? Oh, cars. Oh my god. Heejin on top of that Porsche. Oh my god. I'm a huge sucker for cars, so this is everything. Oh my god. Came out the slide. And Lippy on a bike. Oh my goodness. Oh. Hacker girl, he didn't. I can't. Oh, are they hunting themselves? Kind of. <laughs> she doesn't care. She just doesn't care. Lore. <laughs> she has an apple. This has to be lore. How is this all playing into the universe? Oh my god, her, her smirk right there. He's like, all right, guys, let's play tag then. Oh my god, her happy smile and the moon in the back. Oh my god, look at how happy she is. She's just getting hunted down and she's like, oh my god, I'm having the best time of my life. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh, we even have a little after scene. Oh my god. Can I have this as a wallpaper? Please? Screenshot. I'm gonna do that later. Because it would probably mess up the recording if I do it right now. Oh, the suspense. What's happening? Oh my god, the. To be continued! What do you mean to be continued? You can't just end it with a to be continued. We're watching that again, by the way. But let me quickly. You can't just do. The moon. Wait, I wanna go back to that actually. The moon is going into the colors of OEC pretty much, right? We have a, I mean, this could be more of a pinkish type, but this is definitely a blue. This is kind of a purple. So I was immediately thinking, obviously moon, three colors, all a circle. But then you also have the howl in there. Hmm? You also have the howling in there and then it says to be continued. Are you kidding me? Are we gonna get another part of this with probably I mean the hint to hit you coming up was kind of obvious, right? You have a howl, a wolf's howl, and then you going with it to be continued. So we had four members this time. Imagine if we get three parts and it's always like four that was so cool. Okay, let's watch this again because I think I haven't been paying proper attention to the song as I should have been because these girls are a little distraction from me sometimes. <laughs> but can you blame me? That walk here, by the way. What's happening? Okay. Oh my god. Luna, not friends. Do we have subtitles, by the way? Good subtitles, thank you. I, uh, these are auto-generated then, right? Yeah. All right. So at the beginning, we have Heejin being tied up, kind of being interrogated by Jinzo, it looks like. Kim Lip as a Joker. She's at kind of a festival. I've, no I've been noticing the festival theme throughout this. There's a scene later where Jinzo is at the carnival booth. This part, I, I live for this part. Oh 
Jinzo, come on, have mercy on my freaking soul. I would turn the light stick on, by the way, but it has no battery, sadly. Oh my god. This is also on the carnival. I would love to try and figure out the whole storyline of this. But there's so much going on. This sounds really, really cool. Especially, especially the pre like, come on. There's scene, I mean. I was about to say, are these like, what's the, oh, freak, what's the English name for that Pokemon? And only, I only know the German one. Right here. What? What's the, oh my God, what's the English name for this freaking Pokemon? Meowth or something like that? I think so. Pokemon and Luna intertwining. It's gotta be one of my, the best days of my life. Heejin has a smirk all over this freaking video where she's ca casually shooting people. Yeah, this looks like even Lippy battling it out. This scene though. Oh my god, I'm living for the scene. That little lip bite right there, come on. That little lip bite, she's, she's like, oh my god. I mean, she's just drifting circles around Heejin, but she seems to be into that. Who allowed you to be that good looking? Oh, Jesus. That throw. Oh my god, I love the camera shots, by the way. She's just casually bobbing to music, hacking into a laptop, being like, hey, you over there, I got you. <laughs> and then this scene, she kind of turns on herself, interestingly enough. Eve isn't bothered. Her outfit low-key reminds me of something that I'm gonna check in a second. But the way that Heejin is just having the time of her life. <laughs> I love it. Look at her! Yeah, okay. scene dude i'm gonna get a wallpaper of this and if it's the last thing i do this in spence the moon changing colors right here it looks more like a red jeez okay i want to check something real quick okay so i was thinking that um the outfit of eve actually reminded me a little bit of um her outfit in you maybe this is just now stuck in my head because i missed the dress last time in ptt um but i think her overall styling wait uh actually like it it has the same vibe this this kind of loose jacket um with the fishnet leggings that how you would call it kind of reminds me like if you go over to this it's kind of this like free-spirited cool badass style that she's also wearing here i mean she can pull that off uh, just look at this still frame right here this girl has one two three four five six probably seven if there's another person right here guns pointed on her and she couldn't give less of a fuck <laughs> i mean look at that face it's like so all you got seriously i'm just gonna bite my apple and be gone I drive off. Anyway, he 
Legion on this freaking swing with blue roses having the time of her life. Liv Libby is just a killing machine. Like, we have that confirmed. She's just a killing machine. Look at that girl. This whole video is amazing. I love that. I love that. Is there any credits on who made the video? We have Big Ocean, Markan, and Sunny Visual. So this isn't uh, because usually there is a note somewhere that it would be a DigiPedity video. So I think it's one of the few uh, Luna music videos that isn't DigiPedity, I guess. Oh my God. Way to brighten up my day <laughs> with another freaking banger. I hope this one's already on Spotify because I'm gonna add, gonna add that obviously to my playlist. Wow. This video though, like them just being freaking, I mean, what would you, what, what would be the general theme of this? Agents, killers, headhunters, something like that. Heejin would be like a uh, kind of crazy headhuntress, I guess. With her smiling about everything, you know, it's like kind of, what is going on with you? Why are you enjoying this so much? And with her sniper sniping away uh, from tall buildings, also like having this hacker theme to her. Um, Jinzo seems more like uh, administering person because she she's inter inter interrogating Heejin at the beginning sitting on that little I would call it a throne while um, that motorbike which supposedly has Kim Lip on it I'm probably thinking Kim Lip wasn't the one doing wheelies around Jinzo at that <laughs> very moment but yeah that showed her in like in her showed her in kind of like a powerful position um, then you have Lippy the killing machine she legit looks like a secret agent or something who's trained to fight and then you have E who I can't really put in there she has in a f she has something for cars isn't really bothered by anything is also looks like she was trained to fight um, but my brain is not picking up the main story here Maybe you guys have any ideas on what the main story of this video is about because there seems to be a very clear storyline here that this small brain up here just can't pick up. So yeah, guys, I'm definitely looking forward to your comments down below. Um, put down your theories um, and if you want to talk about them even further, hop on over to the Discord. Um, we have a all separated orbit area and other areas for other fandoms there uh, if you just want to talk to some orbits about theories and stuff it's great fun so guys thank you so much for watching everyone please stay safe oh, i love you lots my beautiful orbits and then see you in the next video bye guys